Okay, so, so today is Monday, September 16. Um, a few things happened. Well, over the weekend, uh, Saudi Arabia had the oil field being, I guess, burned by drones, as Trump think it's from Iran, which everybody knows it's not true. Um, even if it is true, it's... It, it, the whole thing is just silly. Anyway, it sounds like a false flag event, and oil was going down, the economy was not, was not doing good. Um, the price of oil really should be at the 40s, but they've been propping it up to the 50s. So it's been hovering around 55, and today it went up almost uh, 14% right now. It was, I think it was 14, 15 earlier. So it went from 54.5, jumped to 62 at uh, markets open. So I have bought silver and oil over the weekend. I mean, over last week. Let's see. So, let's see here. So, today I made a lot of trade. Yesterday, well, it was the weekend. So on Friday, I made a video on, like, so I bought some silver. And today, I got up those trades and made a thousand and three hundred dollars almost in profit from SI Silver Future. I also exited my long oil trade. I got out with a uh, three thousand and one hundred and thirty dollars in profit for loaning the crude oil. I bought this. Think about it was on Tuesday, uh, Thursday or Friday, Wednesday. So yeah, here. Hmm. There we go. No, no. Okay. So one of them I got it for on Thursday, and maybe it was on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday I bought the so uh oil contracts on last Wednesday, and just today I sold the long position on oil. And make that three thousand and three hundred thirty dollars here. So I close that position. And, oh, sorry, three thousand and one hundred thirty-one dollars. Okay. So since then, oil has been keep going up. So what I end up doing is I shorted it oil at a call option. I shorted a naked call option, uh, sixty-five, which will expire in two weeks, and seventy, which will expire in the by the end of the year, which is crazy because I have never showed us that much oil. Since then, uh, I've been losing paper loss on four, five hundred, five thousand. It was almost like seven thousand earlier. Um, five thousand in paper loss and one thousand and four hundred in paper loss on both of my oil short positions. So even though I made the uh, four hundred four thousand dollars. And um, just on the market open right around noon, I saw I saw my long position. I added onto the short position. Now, what's interesting about these position that I like is the aside from the fact that I lost a lot of money, that you know I probably shouldn't be liking that. But if you look at the chart from yesterday, so I have an automatic for this one this position that I, I have ten oil contract. That's a lot. That's like. I never had a shorter or long 10 oil contract. The most I went was like 6 or 7. Okay, in one time. Um, so this is a lot. 10 oil contract, um, I'm not shorting. Yesterday, it was hovering around like 10 cents, 10, 15 cents. Just overnight, it jumped up to a dollar something. I think I bought it somewhere here, and I bought it again here, and now it's like almost like two dollars. So overnight, it went up from ten cents to two dollars. That's like two thousand. Two. What is it? Yeah, two thousand in jump increase. So if if. That's my thesis. Um. Well, for one thing, oil really shouldn't be at this level in the first place. It should be much lower. And if this whole thing was made up, like, 
I'm sure the fire happened, the drone attack was real, but like, who actually did the drone attack? Who knows? And for all we know, there was a lot of oil reserve in Saudi Arabia, a crap load of oil in warehouses. So during the meantime, while they you know cleaning out the field, getting stuff back to online, they're selling their reserves. And if I have to bet, they must be selling short, naked short oil contract right now, or at least for the next week or so, a few days at least. On the oil, they haven't even extract yet, even if they sold out their complete warehouse reserves, because they can always dig them up more. So they have no concern and no worry on short covering. They can always, always make more oil by digging it up. So they can short all they want at higher prices and then replace it at uh, lower prices when they extract the oil. It's hedging. It's perfectly legal. It's it's just you know what industry do. So they're hedging their bets um, on the oil prices. But if they did manipulate the price up or they just taking advantage of it, that's well they're gonna make a lot of money by selling oil at double the price basically. Or well, not double the price, but. Uh, 20% increase in price um, from drone attacks like almost like I, I, I don't know like <laughs> anyways um, it's just a lot going on this also talks about how Trump uh, might go into war of Iran because like, he did the like, rock uh, what is it lock and load it ready to shoot Iran I guess not gonna happen, because if you think about it, Trump has never gone into any war. He's actually pretty dovish on wars. Out of pretty much all the president we had before, he just... He never went into any war. He was very non confrontational So, chances are we're not going to war. The economy is crap, and oil was tanking. And this is a perfect excuse for propping on SP500 and propping on oil. But, if I'm correct, if I'm wrong, you know, like, I, I, fine, I guess I'll wait a little bit. I don't think oil is going to go up to 70. But, if I'm correct, this is going to go down to 10 cents. Yeah? It, it's like $2 now, almost. It's going to go back to 10 cents. And this, it's going to either go to 10 cents, or going to go to zero. My cost basis is about, do- like, 90, 96 cents. So, it's almost a dollar. If it's going down to 10 cents, I make like a thousand something dollars. Or you go to zero in two weeks, and eh, I can wait. So, I can make a quick like $1,900 here if I wait two weeks. But right now, oil, it's uh, the under, underlying oil contract for this September or November, I guess, uh, is 62.5. And reminding you, it was 54.5 yesterday. So, my guess is in a end of this week, this is gonna go down to 50 something, it might be 56, I'm gonna guess 56, 57 by the end of, like, by Friday, either way, if it go down, I made money, if it stays the same, and it doesn't go up to 67 and above, I collect $2,000, or break even, or collect $2,000, and... This one I had to wait longer because it's uh, December, so it was the end of the year. But if oil does go down, I have an automatic sell order here. Well, it closed the position at twelve cents, and this should net me if everything goes to plan. Let's see, my cost basis is twelve thousand, so it's about ten thousand dollars I can net if oil goes down. Right now, it's uh, hovering there. So right now, it's, right now I'm losing money on paper, or, well, I lose money, not on paper, but I lose money. Um, but by the end of the week, or next week, I should, if I don't close early, I should get $10,000 from this position. So, uh, it's kind of fair trade, I guess, I lose $5,000, but in the chance of getting $10,000, so, I don't know. But then again, this is a very large position. I've never traded 10 oil contract before. It, it's just crazy. I mean, each dollar here, it's like... Each contract, each dollar is $1,000. So for 10 position, if the price moving average goes to $10 in oil, 10 times 10 is 100. So that would be 100000 which is 
my entire portfolio size. Um, so if price of oil goes by ten dollars by tomorrow, I could lose a hundred thousand, in theory. But then again, they will probably margin close me way before that. Um, so this is a very big gamble, but so far it's working well. As I'm making this video, it's already went down from six thousand to like, well, five thousand. It's going down to four thousand soon. So yeah, as we speak, it's just going lower. It just doesn't make any sense, you know. Like, we're not going to war. Not yet, but even if we do, we do it's not anytime soon, so that's not gonna happen. And the oil feel it's superficial burn, half of it's burn again. Like we don't even get that much oil from Saudi Arabia. Um, also, we're not buying any oil from Iran to start with. They're still under sanctions, so the world hasn't really been buying from them, and U.S. is not been buying from them. There's talk about China buying from them, and if they we do go to war with Iran. <laughs> Even on a small scale, China is still gonna be buying oil from Iran. It's not gonna change anything. Like we we still in a, a trade war with China, so they just gonna go ahead and buy oil from Iran. So that China is not gonna buy oil from anywhere else, then oil price will tank. And U.S. export most of the oil anyways, since we have to shell oil online. It's not gonna affect anything on oil price over here by U.S. considerations. So. What exactly drive the price up? I I really don't know. Like it just doesn't. It I, there's nothing. There's nothing driving out. And as we talk, it already went down like four hundred dollars. So, um. Yeah, I just I just don't see it. I I don't see, reason for, oil to go down. I mean go up. And the economy is not doing well. We know that the industrial capacity is just not there. So there's not really a lot of use for oil right now, and yeah, again, just too many reasons for oil to be down. The only reason for oil to be up is the false flag attack, allegedly, like happened two days ago. So they should have figured things out by now. And Saudi Arabia is not that big a producer to start with, like nowadays. So yeah, I I just don't I I don't see it. Anyways. Um, okay, so it dropped down another hundred dollars I was renting. Um, so I will see this in a few, few more weeks and see if I make a profit or make a loss. Um, but otherwise I realized four thousand dollars again, but then again I, I did put out a lot of losses here on paper, so, you know, it's a wash. But, okay, so it's just documenting my trades, so again, the trades I did today were... Sh Let's see, I closed my positions on silver, I closed my position on oil, and made 4,000 bucks, and I opened a crap load of oil shorts. Yeah, I have various different prices. I will see this in, I guess, two days, or a week, 